It's my feel good breakfast show. <laughs> Call us on your cell phone. Culinary hotline bling. That can only mean. It's a Monday morning and certainly on this particular Monday morning, no need for the blues because we are into the second day of spring. It has sprung and right now it's time for the culinary hotline. Bling! Zing! 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 And cue the flowers. There we go. Uh, we say hello to spring with a light and fluffy vanilla sponge cake smothered with granadilla buttercream and decorated with beautiful, fresh and edible spring flowers too. Yes, edible flowers on our cake this morning. To celebrate spring with us, we have uh, uh, the two ladies with spring in their step. The lovely <laughs> Grace Stevens and of course uh, our very own uh, flower child, Anel Portkiger. Great to have oh, you both here. Yeah. Happy, happy spring! Happy, happy spring! spring. This is, looks absolutely amazing. I feel like the, these cakes just grew out of my garden. <laughs> <laughs> of cake season and <laughs> there they come. How excited are you for this season? Does, does this season also kind of represent newness in the culinary scene? Oh yes, mm. fresh start, new trends, mm -hmm. lots oh. of fun with food. And the food is popping out now, winter is over, so it's mm. all like fresh and new and interesting stuff coming out yeah, from and the earth. Yeah. What are some of those trends that we can look forward to? Oh, is this for me? This is for you, yeah. this is for anybody. I, I really think <laughs> that we're leaving those crisp limes now and we're going into more textured buttercream. We're going to lots of, lots of florals. Mm. And um, and garlands are still a big trend that's mm. coming through. Um, but definitely lots of textures. The semi-naked cake is still sticking around. Yes, except is that it's, okay? Yeah, so something similar mm. to this. Um, so not as much buttercream as, say, on this, this cake. You can still see a little bit of the crumb underneath. Yes. That's still a big trend, yeah. but we are going flowers. I mean, yeah, with the flower really crowns really you have on, spring is kind of giving me this feeling. It's it's that. So your cake is going to be able to do this as well, right? <laughs> the mysterious world of spring and flowers. There we go. The wonder world. There we go. Yeah. All right, so uh, tell me about that. Does this cake that we're about to start decorating? I'm so glad that the trend of those crisp lines are over because I grew up, my mama just took the mess and it did have smeared. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Well, came to decorate yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. Cake, but that yeah. is now trendy again. Yes. You know, Excellent. just to do it. So you don't have to get lines. Okay. okay you so have to help me, yeah? You yes. must tell me what to do. So we are just going to smear all this lovely So what do you have for? What kind of cake? That's just a sponge cake, So this cake, is right? a vanilla sponge. Vanilla sponge cake. Okay. And they can get this sponge cake recipe um, with that SMS number. Yes, okay? of course. Okay. Uh, you can SMS the keyword cake. And then we're just going to loosely do a little bit of a naked... And with the granadilla, with the texture that is created by the little pips just like here. A little, do I do it right here? Just a bit of nakedness? Yes, just a little bit, bit, bit of nakedness. nakedness. <laughs> <Look> <laughs> I think we've that. used up our quota of the word nakedness. <laughs> <laughs> but quickly, uh, Grace, explain to us the technique with, with this. What do you call this, by So the this way, is first? a palette knife. It's an a offset knife. one. It just allows you to get nice and close and smear around. Yeah. They come in different sizes so that you can choose the one that really fits in your hand and feels most comfortable. Yes. Have we done a good enough job I want to taste there? this. And so the idea is when you go back and forth, mm. you kind of let it angle yes. um, onto the cake, which then spreads. I hope you're getting a close-up of this. This, this is yes. me demonstrating the palette knife technique. You are you get that. Look at you're that. You're going to have to fix my side, Grace, <laughs> and then I'm going to start decorating your Let's side. Let's decorate okay. because... So you've got a, some beautiful um, granadella uh, decorating icing. You must icing taste this. Okay, please really? just taste it. Okay, please let's, taste let's have it. Taste little, it, granadella. Uh -huh. You can't go back, huh? Oh. Mm. Oh, ho, ho. do you taste Hello. this? Isn't it just divine? Oh, it just sprung into my mouth. Lovely. So now, uh, when it comes to edible flowers, mm. yes. do you just go to like a random florist or I don't know, a nursery and say, hi, I love a fresh batch of edible flowers. <laughs> well, where you where can do you buy find them? them? You can buy them at the shops, but you just got to be careful. Um, Roses are spe specifically, uh, lots and lots of pesticides are used on, on yeah. roses. Especially mm -hmm. when, when you farm flowers, you can't... Mm. Yes, please. So you've got to be Smells careful great, but just about be careful. pesticides. Mm -hmm. But you know what I think, you, what people forget when it comes to edible flowers is what about the foliage? Because mm. that really frames your flowers. So you can use herbs, like I've got fennel over here that I'm using. Oh. I've got some mint. I mint, yes, mint yes. as well. I've got apple mint. Okay. I've got some strawberry leaves here from my garden. And then pansies are great. You know what? These sort of things are great. You can go and buy yourself some seedlings, plant them in your garden, and then you cut them off and you know that you haven't put pesticides on them. Yes, exactly. And then you... So, so I'm doing all right on this you side. You are the most 
awesome assistant. What is this? <laughs> what is this? <laughs> these so beautiful little, little baby ones. marigolds. Oh I think. wow! So gorgeous. Okay. How beautiful are these? So Lovely colour. And what else do we have over here very quickly? So these are mini little roses. Look how cute they are. Wow. And anything like this adds more texture. Because remember, texture is a big trend. And yes. not just in buttercream, but also with your flowers. Excellent. So dahlias, chrysanthemums, you know, roses and all those kind of things are really hot Chrys at Chrys the moment. That's how you say it, Chrysan chrysanthemums. Chrysanthemums. Can we use oh, this one movie? Chrysan chrysanthemums. Yeah, that's the Geraldton <laughs> wax. That you not you made it. this. She actually it. piped this. Look oh how beautiful goodness. that is. Can, that's lovely. Do you want to put it somewhere or yeah, is it too big? No, wait, it's not too big. Pop it right over there in the oh, center. Yeah. That looks oh, lovely. Everybody Gosh. admire it. Yeah. So SMS the keyword cake to 33728. We'll send you a link to the recipe so you can make your own beautiful uh, sponge cake showstopper like this and wow. try it out at home. That, that looks absolutely brilliant. Well done. Thank we you. Happy spring, ladies. Thank <laughs> yeah, you very thank much. You. We'll be right back with the culinary hotline bling. Ting, ting, ting. It's my feel good breakfast show. Call us on your cell phone. Culinary hotline bling. That can oh, only yes. mean one thing. Let's bring vibes, consume you. Welcome back. It's the culinary hotline bling. Ting, ting, ting. <laughs> In spring. Ting, ting. <laughs> Listen, we're having fun with the new season and we're enjoying all kinds of uh, beautiful decorations. As you can see, we've done with this cake earlier on. No, actually, that, that was the Grenadella one that we've done earlier yes. on. But this is what, what we showed. The half-naked, is it a half-naked cake? Semi-naked. Semi-naked, okay. sorry. <laughs> half-naked means something yeah. else, guys. <laughs> Semi-naked <laughs> cake. And we found all different ways of decorating, including beautiful flower decorations. And so uh, in this segment, we're going to be learning how to pipe like a pro. Okay, how yes. to get those beautiful flower decorations like those ones wow, made. Yeah. Would you say, is this possible for anybody to do or do you need to be a pro to do it? I'm not going to say anything because I don't know how. I'm just here to learn. <laughs> you have well, to have a little bit more faith in Grace. me. That's why Grace yeah, Stevens yeah. is here. <laughs> Anel Potgieter and I are just here, just, just for the decorations yeah. on the side. Okay, so in order to pipe like a pro, what kind of equipment do you need, Gracie? So you are going to need some piping bags and some nozzles. So mm -hmm. you, this is the classic um, petal nozzle, so this one is a good one to buy. Okay, so you need a petal nozzle. Petal nozzle. It looks like a wedge. Okay. It's got a fat side and a thin side. I thought that's... somebody stepped on it, and that's why. <laughs> <laughs> <Okay>. Actually. <laughs> Uh, and then you need a piping nail. A piping. So this is what we pipe in. We hold it in our non-dominant hand. I've just put a piece of baking paper over here so that it's easy after I've piped. I can just take it oh, off and quickly put it you. down here. And then it's then you know then we can just let and it. And you dry just out. use a little bit of the icing at the bottom to stick it just, on. Just to stick it on. Yeah, that's right. Piping and this nail. Is, is this wax paper or baking paper? This is baking okay. paper. Okay. Yes. Can you can you make your own piping nail at home? You just take like yes, a, you can. a nail. <laughs> if you and, take yeah. um. A pulchard tin, the bottom of a pulchard tin. Yes. <laughs> and you actually put a nail through it. Yes. You've got it. You've got your there we go. Nail. Okay. Yes. Super glue it to the bottom of that as well if you want to. And then you, yeah. get, a, you get a random, because everyone has, <laughs> your kids have you big blocks. You've got a few of those. Yeah, yeah right? <laughs> yes. Yeah, take the ABC yeah. ones and you puncture a hole through it. And there you go. A this piping. is just to help us hold it up so okay, that good. flowers Okay, let's okay, start. Wait, How do we start space. this? So, pick up whatever colour takes your fancy. Right I've now. Put some spring and how do I hold this you. thing? So, twist it so that you can break that airlock. Okay. I'm going to go with, with the pink. Okay, break okay. the airlock. It comes out. Okay. Yeah. Okay. So, just pop it in this V part of your hand, whichever is your dominant hand. Okay. Okay. So your so fingers just, like just support it like that. Yes. That's good. And then you okay. put it in the, in the V part of your okay. hand. Okay. And now? We want the fat part of the nozzle closest to our nail. Yeah. Because the thin part is the one that's going to give you that nice... Thin edge hey, to hey, your hey, 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 so wait, like wait. That. I'm in the remedial class here. <laughs> you must take it slow. Goodness. Okay, so take your nail in your non dominant hand. Yeah. Yeah. Take it out the, the block. You okay, want the nail. Can oh. you see how easy it is to manipulate yes. it now? Okay, okay, let's start, Grace. All right. So, we're just going to make one petal. So, watch first. Yeah, I'll okay. Watch. So, we're going to put that fat bit down on the nail. And we, we don't want it flat and we don't want it 90 degrees, kind of 45 degrees. Yeah. I'm going to squeeze some in as I turn. And you oh, pivot okay. that fat bit. It stays okay, where it bit is. At the bottom. And there's oh. your first petal. Oh, oh my oh, word. Wow. There we go. The wow. There we go. Wow. So Easy. 45 degrees. And then when it hits turn. the surface, turn, turn. And stop. And, stop. and you just carry on like okay. this, Grace. Scoop the, that um, nozzle underneath the previous petal oh, and then do exactly the same. It. Underneath it. Here I you think went this now. looks quite good. 
Hold on, don't, uh, I'm not getting ahead of myself. perfect. Look at this. You're How doing are you doing? It. The only thing I would suggest is you take that and always start at the same point. So you take your fat bit of your nozzle and you start at the same point. You're doing it. This is gorgeous. <laughs> oh, on, cut. No, wach, 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 wach. Right, so yeah. was. start again. <laughs> Put a little bit of air on there. No, 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 you're going to get this. Come on, you're going to get this. Otherwise, we'll have remedial okay, okay. class after. So Put this... a little bit of buttercream on there for me. Squeeze it out of your Oh, I have here. Okay, come on, there you go. All right. I'm really okay. determined Let's to make a good Let's all root for Cat. Do it. Okay. Come on, Cat. Do it. Woo, woo. You're doing it. Stop. Excellent. Do I take... Oh, gosh. Okay, there we go. Yeah, put it Such underneath there. And do the same thing. Stunning. Come on, my flower. <laughs> BV, my flower. <laughs> Give me a moment. My flower's coming, it's coming. together. It's coming together. It's a springtime flower. <laughs> Okay, okay, so okay, now that now you've got that. Put the center in with the little stamens. Five stamens, one for each petal. You're going really biological on me right now. Yes. Yeah. Five so stamens specifically. Stamen. Oops, I've and lost And you this. just you just pop your nozzle down and just do Oh, that's why you have five the stand. Yeah, the, the stands there just so that in between you don't have to put it down on the floor. So it's a big side in the center. Yes. Okay, you're gonna pop it. Pop it. Like that. Stunning. Yeah. Oopsie. Spring. Oopsie, Spring. guys. Help, help. Like that. A little bit more. Sky is blue. Oops, I'm going to be a boy. <laughs> guys, look at this. I mean, wouldn't you just, if you were a bee, oh, wouldn't you want to land on that? I would. <laughs> that is just I amazing. Would. Please, I would put my flowers among your that. garden. Grace, quickly show us how to do a, um, a leaf. A leaf. Yes. Okay. So, a leaf, we start the same way, same nozzle. Oh, wait. Look okay. Do you. Wait, wait, we've got to show everyone how to do the leaf. How okay, do you do okay. leaf? Here we go. So you get your green. Green? Then. Yes. Right. We're going to start the same way, fat side down, so the thin side's up. Yeah. Thin okay. side up. Fat. This is a little bit easier, okay? So you squeeze a little bit out, and then I'm just going to go a little bit of a zigzag, up and down, up and down as I squeeze. When I get to the top of my leaf, I'm going to turn my nail with oh. my while I'm still squeezing, and then you can just do... The same the other side of the leaf. <laughs> oh, love, oh, look how gorgeous oh, that I is. Love this one. I mean, oh, how I gorgeous. Oh, my, mine is a bit more, my mine is a conifer leaf. Yeah. <laughs> you can see it's been it's been through the wild side oh, of nature. Absolutely. So it's lovely. just a movement with yes. a fat side at the bottom. Exactly. exactly. And, and you can make okay. whatever shape you'd like. It's Ladies, really much up oh, to this you is what amazing. you'd like. Absolutely to amazing. And then once you're done, if you have some beautiful muffins like that, you can put your flowers on them, make them look absolutely beautiful. How would you take it off from there? So oh, you, oh, so a little you do bit it of a palette now. Oh. I let them crust over. You've got to let them just um, dry out a little bit. Fantastic. They can be stored in the freezer, and then you just look at them that. On. Springtime is here. Delicious. Thank you very oh. much, ladies. Oh, the culinary hotline bling. Sing, sing, sing. 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 found it's spring. Call us on your cell phone. Culinary hotline bling. That can only mean one thing. Welcome back to it. Yes, the culinary hotline. Spring! Sing, sing, sing! Did I catch you of God, Grace? Yes, I did. It's the culinary hotline spring, because we're in spring. Yes. We're celebrating all things spring. And totally. uh, earlier on, we were making beautiful decorations and piping flowers mm. onto paper, which was brilliant. And I've, I made I'm, you I'm still a rock star piper. You, listen, I'm the pipe piper now. <laughs> uh, you can call me that. And this is some of the, the, the stuff that you had to say on social media when we asked you about uh, what you love about baking in springtime and all the trends that go along with that. Christelle Salem says, love this as I love baking. Please share some tips on the consistency of icing and how do I know when the consistency is perfect? That's a good question. So when you're going to be piping? That is a good question because you need it to be spreadable because yes. you don't want to sit there and push and push and push. <clears throat> so I always say nice consistency like peanut butter. So nice and spreadable. Yes. yes. That's what you're looking for. That's what for. you want. But right now with Clover Mama Bake, we're about to make some beautiful flower inspired spring cookies. <gasps> Look at these. Aren't they just so springy? I was like, what? Did you get? How did you get those pictures on them? Meanwhile, I'm it's gonna actually Actual oh, yeah. flowers. Yeah. All right, so let's get started off with this recipe then. Okay, so this biscuit recipe is nice and super easy and great to get the kids involved. Mm -hmm. My flour goes in the bowl, mm -hmm. icing sugar in the bowl. 
Good. Then I'm going to put um, vanilla extract in there, uh -huh. and then my mama bake. Excellent. At room temperature? This is room temperature, so it's always. so it's nice and soft. We always bake at room temperature, mm -hmm. and then just to add some spring. Okay. Lemon, lemon or orange zest, mm -hmm. any sort of lime. Like Would that work too? Lime works great as well. Okay. So just a nice lot of flavour in Citrusy there. Citrusy flavour to it. And then yeah. this is where the kids get their fingers in. Okay. And you've got to really work go. this butter in. Mm -hmm. And you work it and work and work it until it comes out like my dough that I've got underneath right my parchment yeah. paper. Okay, all right. So, so get the kids involved as well. And of course, Clover Mama Bake, great for your bakes at home, those yummy bakes. It's a great source of vitamin A and D. It contains 80% fat, so you know that you're going to be getting that flavour yes. when you're using it. Okay, what's next? So you, you have to rest this for at least half an hour in the fridge. So okay. you rest it. Pop it between two pieces of parchment paper straight out the fridge. Mm -hmm. And I just do this because it might be a little bit crumbly straight out the fridge. Okay. This keeps everything together. Yes. Keeps it from sticking on to your, your roller. Your, your surface as well. Uh-huh. Okay, so when you get it to be about five moles, mm -hmm. you cut out your cookies. And this is, of course, where your kids are going to love it. Excellent. So if you don't have a cookie cutter, a glass will work just as well, but you just okay. have to pop it into some flowers to, to yeah. prevent it from sticking. In fact, any kind of shape that kind of has a, a, a space oh, from totally. the surface um, upwards would work I've quite well. I've used these nice scallop ones. Oh, look at that. This is a scone cutter. A and then it goes onto your baking tray. Mm -hmm. And this is where the fun begins. Yes, because you now you're going to make it look fancy like Brush that. those with some egg whites. Okay. That's going to be our glue today. Uh-huh. Right, so just, just one little coat on top? Just one single coat on so top. Little, there we go. I've become quite the painter these days. I can see, um, I must say, your skill set is growing <laughs> by the minute. <laughs> <laughs> All right, here we go. Like that. That looks like it's that is a good stunning. job. So uh, you can SMS the keyword Clover to 33728 and we'll send you a list of the ingredients as well as the link to the recipe so you can make these beautiful flower inspired springtime cookies. Wow, one more over fine. here. Sorry, I'm, I'm, I'm very careful and I'm just concentrating and when I do that, <laughs> my voice so tends to lower. So this helps just to stick okay. your flowers on top and then another coat on top of your flowers. Oh, okay. Good. But we've got all sorts of little flowers here. Yes, so make it fancy. You don't have to go like big, you can go small. Oh my gosh, okay, this is getting tricky now. There we go. There you oh, go. Pop it into the oven. Okay, so the, the reason why you're using the second coat is just to make sure that Just to make sure that it goes, and it gives you that nice gloss that we've got on those ones. Okay, and then in the oven for how long? For about 10, 12 minutes until they're not just slightly golden around the edges, and it's 180 degrees. Good, 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 just like that. All right, so while I do this, let's quickly show you how we made these beautiful flower-inspired springtime cookies. Oop, oop. Clover Fresh Milk is the number one milk brand in SA, made with love by Clover. Celebrate the beauty of spring and add some colourful flowers to your baking repertoire with these springtime cookies from Clover Mama Bake. Start by adding 100 grams of icing sugar to a bowl, 200 grams of cubed Clover Mama Bake, 300 grams of cake flour, the zest of two oranges, and five mils of vanilla essence. Rub the mixture together with your fingertips to create a breadcrumb consistency and continue mixing until you have a dough. Next, wrap the cookie dough in cling film and pop it in the fridge until cold. Turn the dough out onto a floured surface and roll it out to five millimeters thickness. Then, using a cookie cutter or the rim of your coffee cup, cut out cookie shapes. Brush the tops with whisk egg whites. Then, top each cookie with an edible flour before brushing the tops with egg white again. Bake at 180 degrees Celsius for 8 to 10 minutes, and you're done. Wake up and smell the flowers. Whether you put some in your hair, place them all over your house, or use them in the kitchen, make sure you showcase and celebrate spring in all its beauty and all its glory this season. Made with love by Clover. And as simple as that, SMS the keyword Clover to 33728. We'll send you a link to the recipe as well as the ingredients list. And you can make these. Look at that. Beautiful. Citrusy flavored. 
flowerfully uh, decorated? Yes, biscuits. Biscuits. Yes. Lovely. What would you have these with? with tea? Tea, coffee, maybe still with the weather, some hot chocolates. Yeah. Mm, okay. Or just sneak them out of the tin at midnight. <laughs> <laughs> Clover to 3372. And we're loving all of your comments coming through. We also had uh, Shireen Abrams here saying, uh, Good morning, Anna Ellen Grace. Happy spring. Loving the spring look. And I'm watching you guys and learning so much from the Culinary Hotline team. Always have the best ideas when it comes to baking. Have a super Monday. And Elaine wanting to know, once again, I think that question about the edible flowers. Yes. Um, do you just grow these? Do you go to, do you go to your, your local nursery and then just ask for the seeds for edible flowers? And no, I think the easiest garden? thing is seedlings. Yeah, so okay. you go get violas, pansies, those sort of edible, and ask them, because they normally have a section with edible flowers. Pop them in some pot plants. You, know, mm -hmm. you can put them on your kitchen. Um, windowsill. Yes, just and then keep you them can at the always have them. It's just that you've got to take care what you spray on them. Because okay. remember, yeah, yeah, yeah. that's going to be ingested, so you've got to be careful. Absolutely. Yes. All right. But for this particular recipe, SMS Clover to 33728. Thank you very much for oh, springtime awesome. inspired baking. Please. Like my God. I love it. I love it. I'm going to wear it the whole queen. day. Do that. I it's going to look absolutely fantastic. <laughs> <laughs> Clover Fresh Milk is the number one milk brand in SA. Made with love by Clover.